Good morning guys. It's my first official day as a YouTuber. So welcome back to the House of Realness. I am super excited today. So boom, let's get straight to it because I know I'll be rambling a lot. And somebody put a comment on my TikTok videos. It was like, girl, ain't nobody got time to watch your um, YouTube videos. They be an hour long. I only did one video that was an hour long and that was the unboxing. And I think that that was the best unboxing yet, honestly. I could sit here, I'm, and, and it's not even about the gifts. I love every unboxing that I've done. But that one in particular, I feel like I had such a great time. I feel like we all had a great time. So if you haven't already watched that, go back and watch all my videos. Give them a like and subscribe, a thumbs up. Comment down below on all of them because... It counts now, baby. It counts. And your girl's trying to get this cha-ching, cha-ching. Cha-ching, cha-ching. There's a song like that, right? There's like cha-ching, cha-ching. Whatever. So today, I had to wash my hair. I couldn't deal with it. You know when your hair gets so like sweaty and bombao that it smells like, what's bombao? I don't know how to explain bombao. Bombao is like wet and like, like a wet mop or something. So... It smelled like that and I was like, ooh, 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 I need, I need, I need to really get in there and wash my scalp. So I'm going to show y'all the whole ordeal. So we already know that I be getting ice from the gas station. I get it from a small gas station, a Valero. At the end of the night, I go in, ask them if I could just use the machine and get some ice. So when that ice melted, what I did was, is that I used that water plus, hold on. And this water that I filled up, I had it over there because I was rinsing Benji's face. You could tell that I love him because I use my precious water. That's another thing. Since living in a camper and not having any running water, and I've also watched a lot of people who live in campers and RVs, they say that water is liquid gold because your tank is only so big. And apparently, I don't know exactly how much it costs, but a lot of them complain about the price of water to fill up their water tanks. So as much as I would want a bathroom, I've been, I've been living without one now. So if I transitioned into van life, it wouldn't be that much different than what I'm doing now. I've already been, you know, going to gas stations to use the bathroom. I've been doing that during COVID when I was living in my truck. So I'm no stranger to having to wash my pits in the sink and wash, you know, the necessary areas and, and quickly do it. So it, it's kind of like, that's all I've known for the past couple of months. So I'm not really worried about that aspect of it. Also, I see a lot of them, they get gym memberships and they take showers and gyms and honestly, I've really like been thinking about that. I mean, your girl has never stepped into a gym. So if any of you guys have taken showers and gyms, please let me know. I don't know if Planet Fitness has a shower or whatever the case may be, but please let me know down in the comments below if you have taken showers and gyms, how is it? Did it feel uncomfortable? Do people look at you? Because, you know, I feel like if I went to a gym to take a shower, I feel like I would feel obligated to work out because then they'll know that I'm not... But it doesn't matter. I'm paying it anyway. So whatever. You see how I be going off into a side tangent? So I'm going to show y'all how I had to take a shower. This bucket was full, right? So now let's go into the camper. I put the stuff back because I have limited space. But when I take a shower, yo voy aquí, right here, in the bathroom. And I leave the door open because... This is, is claustrophobia. This bathroom is so small. So I squat here. And yes, yeah, some water gets down there. But oh well. And I have the bucket up here. And with cups, I wash, wash my hair. Then pour it. And then all of it goes on my body. Because there's no way to avoid that. Unless, and, there, and you know, honestly, now that I've done this, what I should have done was just wash my hair like bent down like that in the sink. But I didn't do that. I thought that I could do both in one, which was take a bath and take a shower. So, like I said, I, I had the bucket up here. I had the cup. I was wa putting water, washing, washing, washing my hair, washing my hair. And I couldn't really, really wash it the way I wanted because, you know, you need enough water left over to rinse your body off. So, while I was washing my hair, wash my body. And then 
I continued on, rinsed myself, and that's it. And if I ran out of water, I ran out of water, which I kind of did. So my body still feels like a little sticky from the soap, but oh well. I mean, what can you do? You got to work with what you got. So that's how I wash and take a shower here in the camper. For those who are curious, that's how I do it. So that being said, now that I've washed my hair, um, being natural, you need a lot of moisture. You need, you do tratamientos. Um, you know, growing up, my mother always made her own hair mask. So I thought, why not show you guys a little DIY hair mask with some things that I have here and um, get that rolling. So I got gifted this blender, which I love, 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 love. And I have the generator running. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. So I'm hoping and praying that the generator is powerful enough to power this blender. If not, I don't know. If not, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and plug it up. And then has this attachment. And I'm going to show y'all my little DIY hair mask. And honestly, it's pretty simple. You don't have to use the exact ingredients I'm using. I'm just showing you the little concoctions that I mixed up with things that I have around the house to sort of moisturize and really, really nourish my hair. So let me set up the camera in a different angle and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm sorry. With the limited space I have, um, you're gonna have to deal with this like not ideal background, but it doesn't matter because it's my first day at work. It's my first day at work. It's my first day at work, 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 work. whatever. Uh, I can't believe I did that on camera. I might just edit that out, please. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all what I have. I, because I have curly hair, I guarantee you everybody that has curly hair has a ton of condition. Sorry guys, I got a phone call and I thought it was a job so your girl was on it. I'd be answering that phone like it's nobody's business. So, you, I, like I was saying, if you have curly hair, everyone that has curly hair has a ton of conditioner at least me i swear by conditioner um i don't really shampoo shampoo my hair often because um i do more co-washes co-washes which is c-o-w-a-s-h co-wash that's when you wash your hair with just conditioner i know people are like just wash your hair with conditioner it's a curly thing i'm sorry so I'm going to show y'all basically what I have. I have coconut oil. I've had this for a while now. I have olive oil. I have this Afuji Balance Moisturizer. Like, um, this is the step two when you do a protein treatment by this brand. I have some of that. And then I have a milk and mayo treatment. Now, the reason why I have this is because... I really don't eat mayo and I can't really eat mayo for some reason when I eat mayo it makes me break out an itch and I don't have a I don't have a fridge so mayo and eggs are really really good for your hair and this is a milk and mayo treatment and it has eggs in it as well I got this from Marshall's a while ago for $5.99 so boom and we all know that moment when we buy an avocado, if you love avocados like I do, me being a, you know, me being an Afro-Latina growing up in a Caribbean household, we swore by avocados. So I bought an avocado. I was ready to eat that avocado, just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and I was going to eat it with a spoon. Honestly, I'd be eating avocados with a spoon. But sadly, when I bought this avocado, boom sad right this is the this is like the most saddest moment for anybody who loves avocados but not all is not lost we are going to use it and sacrifice this avocado for our hair so it will not go to waste baby so now that we got that i'm going to sort of break up the avocado now if you want to make this all natural you could do mayo eggs avocado olive oil coconut oil and that's it but i don't have all these ingredients so i'm i'm substituting some of it for conditioner um so that's it and then also the conditioner adds a, a nice smell you know 
a nice smell because conditioners tend to smell nice. So boom, there goes the avocado. Okay, now I'm going to add some olive oil. Let's go ahead and show y'all. This is the avocado. We're gonna add some olive oil. There's no really like, there's no really measurements. You just pour a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my coconut oil right here. I don't open off all the things so that it doesn't make a mess. It makes it easier if you just open it like little by little like that. And I'm gonna pour my coconut oil in there. Ooh, this is hard to do like this, but see, coconut oil. Now that that's in there, we are going to close up our tops because I am very clumsy and this is a limited space and I can knock something over and then everything will fall on me and we don't want that, so. Matter of fact, let me scoop out all this avocado. I'm mad. I, am I the only one that gets upset when I find an avocado and I get excited about it, but then it's like not good? It really upsets me. Okay, so now this is the conditioner, this one. The milk and mayo. Put that there for a creamy consistency. I think I may be making too much but it's okay, um, I won't be able to save it because it has avocado in it, but hey, a lot of conditioner never hurt anybody. Okay, that's enough. Then I'm going to add, this is really heavy, so I'm going to add a splash of water. Now I'm gonna show y'all what this is looking like. So the water, the two oils, the avocado, both conditioners. Now we are going to screw this top on. We are going to turn this the other way. We're going to lock it, in. Ah! it works! It works! I'm just going to let this go. Now the reason why I'm letting it blend a lot is because if you have any avocado chunks and you put it in your hair, it is going to take forever for the avocado to rinse out. And as even though water is precious for me right now, I can fill this up so it's not a problem. So I'm gonna put in this deep conditioner and after I leave it in, honestly, I'm gonna leave it in all day. I'm gonna leave it in all day because I feel like leaving conditioner in your hair all day is something I've always done and I don't think it really damages your hair. I don't think you could really over condition your hair. So I'm gonna leave this in, leave it in, in for the whole entire day and then rinse it out at night. Okay, I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Ooh, that's perfect. Look at this, it's the perfect, rich, creamy consistency. You see that? So now let's move the angle of the camera so that we can go ahead and... Oh, if one of you guys lived close enough, like really, really close, I would tell y'all to come pick up some of this tratamiento so y'all could put this in your hair as well. Um, so I'm just going to section off my hair and I always start with my edges because I don't know what it is. My edges are always the first thing to fall off. Like when it comes to my hair, like, oh my God, let me tell y'all this story. So I used to do relaxers, right? Um, when I was younger, my mother really couldn't, she couldn't really deal with my hair. Me being biracial, me being mixed. I was the only one that had really, really, really curly, curly hair in my family. So whenever she would wake me up in the morning for school and she would style my hair, she would take like a, a comb and she would, and I, and you know, the knots in your hair, I used to call them knock-ins because it seems like she was knocking on the side of my head and knocking it in. So I call them knock-ins and I used to hate getting my hair styled. So my mother got tired of dealing with my curly hair. So um, we started perming it, like relaxing it. I did kitty texturizers. So 
I've never done an adult texturizer before so this was probably like oh my god I was living in Virginia at this time and I did a um, I did a relaxer I couldn't find a kitty texturizer I did a relaxer this is when I um, I wasn't natural I haven't been natural since I was 13 I believe 13 I started fully like always wearing a relaxer in my hair and I never had it curly I didn't even know what my curly hair looked like anymore but um that being said I did an adult size relaxer and I remember what it was it was a Dr. Miracles relaxer in a regular strength and I put it in my hair and when I went to go wash the perm out all my edges came out like when I tell you all my edges like, yo estaba carba, 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 carba. Carba is bald. All of this was gone, 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 gone. Gone, completely gone. Um, if you guys are curious on how I grew back my edges and what I used to grow it back, I can, um, you know what, I could talk about it in this video. Give me a minute. Let me put this treatment in my hair and then I'm going to go in the camper and show y'all what I put in my hair to get it back into health or to get my edges back you could really smell the avocado so now that that's in this side of the hair I like to put it all throughout the hair first and then I'm gonna show y'all what I do afterwards because I like to stimulate my scalp so I like to just put the product in my hair first I'm telling you, this is so simple, guys. This is so simple. You never have to get rid of an avocado ever again because it went bad. You could just put it in a hair mask. Mm. Hold on, before I start doing that, let's go ahead and section this off. Make sure you get your ends really, really good. Your ends are important. Okay. Here we are, you just comb through that. Make sure you get it all saturated. Oh, perate, perate. I had a little bit of a knot there. So now that that's all saturated in your hair, what I like to do is I like to go back, part it in different sections, add more conditioner or more treatment, whatever you wanna call it. I always, always, always leave a thick layer like this, like a thick layer around my edges because I baby my edges. I treat my edges like they are the most fragile thing because they are the first thing to go. The back of your hair, the nape of the neck, which is the kitchen, the kitchen right here. Yo, when I used to relax my hair, that was the first place I placed the perm and I would leave it there for the longest. Like I would put it at the nape of the neck first because that would always be the most textured and it would be the first thing that would like frizz up and turn into a, like a little Brillo pad in the back of my neck. I see some people, they, they, um, they shave the kitchen, the back hairs. They shave that off for that exact reason. But I need every bit of strands of hair that I have because I hate, I hate, you know, like me, my hair is a 3C type texture. 3C meaning the curl pattern is sort of like a loose curl coil. But I also have a 4C, which is like a kinky afro curly hair. Um, so it's different. You know, I have different textures of curls in my head. So I don't know where I was going with that. I got distracted. I lost my train of thought. It will come back to me. Oh, but yeah, um, so, oh, I remembered, I remembered. So because I have different type of textures, my hair oftentimes looks thin, thinner when it's wet. Like, look, look how thin it looks. But when it's poofy, it's really, really like poof, poof, poof. Okay. And this will be a good time to honestly cut your ends. If you wanted to cut your ends, this will be a good time to cut your ends. So now that that's in there, I'm going to massage my scalp. You know what would be good in this? Rosemary oil. If you have um, essential oils, like 100%. Make sure they're 100% and make sure they're not aromatherapy oils. 
you do not put aromatherapy oils in your hair. You use all natural 100% oils. Rosemary oil is good for um, hair loss and hair thinning. Peppermint oil is really good as well for stimulating the scalp. Tea tree oil, black Jamaican castor oil. If I had those oils, I would have put it in, but I don't. And I'm gonna show you the oil that I started using when my edges fell out to help them grow back. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stimulate the scalp a little bit. Really get that blood flowing there. I'm gonna take this little scrunchie that I don't really care about because it's broken anyway. I'm gonna put my hair all the way on the top and I'm going to do this, right? A little moño. Then I'm gonna take some more conditioner and I'm going to really, really layer it, layer it, layer it. I feel like I be ODing with the conditioner but I don't care, to be honest. I really don't care that I be ODing with the conditioner. Oh no, I should have had a mirror, but it's okay, I'll wipe off the rest. Just be careful what you're leaning on when you put this in your hair. So I'll be right back and I'll show you the oil that I use to help me grow back my edges. So this is the oil. I ordered this off of Amazon. This is my second bottle. The first bottle, I got it at a um, Indian market now uh, a guyanese friend of mine she recommended this oil to me she says that in guyana they use it a lot a lot a lot there's two types this is the cool oil but there's just the regular amala oil this one has a cooling effect but i will 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 warn you make sure that it's the one that has where it's all in this sort of characters that there's no english because that means that you've gotten the authentic one. There's a lot of fake ones. So make sure that it's really from where it's supposed to be from. You could have even added this in the conditioner, but I didn't. I used this. I put a little bit on my edges. And that's what I kept on using until my hair, my edges grew back. Now, I will warn you about this oil. This oil is very, very potent. Even the regular one smells extremely, extremely strong. So make sure you wrap your hair with a bonnet or a scarf before you go to bed because it will get all over your pillows and you'll smell it all over the place. I don't mind the smell because it just smells like really intense like herbs. It smells like really intense herbs and stuff and I'm used to like herbs because growing up in a Caribbean household, you know, a Latina mom, we did a lot of baños, which is like herbal spiritual baths to sort of do cleansings. So I'm used to the smell of Agua Florida, Bay Rum, you know, Yerba Buena, like all those type of herby type of smells. I'm used to it. So it really doesn't bother me. Honestly, it gives me this sort of nostalgic feel and it brings back that memory. So it's pleasant to me, but I will warn you, it is really, really strong. Wrap your hair and this is it. This is what I use to do my edges. So now I am going to just let this sit all day. I am going to uh, write my schedule up and I'm going to plan out some more videos for YouTube. Um, so let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see from me. Do you want to see hair tutorials? A lot of you guys were asking me for hair tutorials. I'm going to try to do that. That's why, hence, I did this. A hair treatment is kind of like the pre-step before, before you do your hair. Whatever. I don't know. I'm rambling on. If you want makeup tutorials, that's coming. Story times, that's coming. Um, I'm letting all my packages build up because I'm going to do another P.O. Box haul, hopefully. And we're going to continue on and we're going to have fun together and grow together. So until next time, bendición.